Hello, dear viewers. Thank you so much for joining me for your daily tarot reading. I ask you to choose the stone that draws you, the one that really resonates, and we'll begin. I'll do a golden nugget card at the end, too, for further clarification. Sometimes questions arise during our reading. For those of you who chose this lovely orange end and black stone, it looks like a really good earthy stone. I wonder if it's a jasper. It's lovely. It is, and we have the hermit. We have the queen of cups. I mean, the queen of coins. And we have the five of wands. All right. Okay. So your hermit is your major arcana. And the hermit today is saying that it really would be a good time to get a little bit of time alone just to really center. You may be hearing from source uh, stronger today. If you meditate, it's likely to be very productive. If you check in with your gut, check in with source, ask in your, in your mind, ask um, for guidance, you're likely to get it like the hermit gets with that lamp. Maybe there's even a longing to spend a little time alone today. Well, I can tell you, if you're alone, you're not alone. Because the hermit, you know, he isolates himself from people to get closer to the spirit world, to get closer to the supernatural, the divine. So he is not alone. People think he is, but he's not. So if you do take time alone, you won't be alone. There may be a specific messenger um, from the other side that's trying to bring you messages. I love the Hermit. It reminds me of the Moon card because just like with the Moon, you're walking by moonlight. With the Hermit, you're walking by the... You just have the first few feet in front of you lit up and that is enough because you're lit up by spirit. We have a couple of ma minor arcana on each side. The Five of Wands, I don't know if that's internal conflict, conflict around you, debate, something you're um, listening to. It can just be competing priorities. Usually among people who are related, have some sort of relationship with each other, work colleagues or um, family, friends, but there may be some conflict or disagreement. You know, I sometimes feel lately, like going out in the community, you feel this around you because, because we do have such polarization somehow um, in our world right now. So, you know, whatever, whatever that is, just remember, it's not that big a deal. It's how people negotiate their points of view, their priorities, their goals. It's the way it goes. Sometimes, sometimes there just is. But then we have the queen of coins, which is your energy, which is solid as a rock. You know, I mean, just solid that quiet strength, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. That queen of coins is the earth mother kind of energy. So it's sort of solid, practical, reality-based, you know, that kind of generous, yes, that kind of stabilizing energy. And sometimes that comes up when we need a reminder that we do have that in our lives or, or you know, it's, it can be a promise too of increased financial security or increased security of health, security of well-being, security involving things. I think the Queen of Coins, she lends that sense of security to, to others though too because she is the, the Earth Mother. So... Beautiful set of cards. Beautiful set of cards for you today. Okay. For those of you who chose this lovely leaf, it's a stone carved in the shape of a leaf. We have the world. We have the eight of coins and we have the page of wands. Okay, the world is about success. It's about completion. It's about having the world. It's about maybe you've completed something or you're nearing completion of something and it has been good. It's been a success. Sometimes the world comes up when we have, well, we're thinking about our world too. Or when we're feeling a sort of connectedness between ourselves and all of humanity. 
all living creatures even. But it's a beautiful, it's a, it's a reminder too that we are eternal beings. The infinity symbol is there. The circle is closed. We are eternal beings. And that is, you know, that's a beautiful thing. There is nothing that can take away from us across time. You know what I mean? It, there's nothing that can do that permanently. We are eternal beings. And we do have access to all, all of the resources, right? These animals on the, the symbols on the different sides. You know, we have access to all aspects of the signs, all aspects of earth, water, air, fire. So we have the page of wands here too. And all the page of wands does is he continues with the goal he's just picked up. So you may have um, an idea for what you want to do today, what you need to do today. It might have been something you began before, but it's new and you, you just have to take care of that. That's all. Eight of coins, you may be very productive today um, in increasing security, learning. Sometimes learning, that's the apprentice card. Sometimes learning, but very productive with that today. So I feel like the source is almost already saying you're already a success. You've completed so many things. You've, you've done so well. If you're learning something new, well, how's that likely to go? The same way other things have gone in your life. If you, whatever it is you're picking up, how's that likely to go? The same way other things have gone. So there's a real, a real message of success. And sometimes the world card helps us to reflect upon that and feel good about that. All right, so those are terrific cards. Okay, for those of you who chose this beautiful heart, we have, funny, I almost sense a sense of excitement in turning these over. We have the hanged man. We have the two of wands. We have the king of swords. So the hanged man is a new perspective. It's getting a new perspective on something. You're seeing things from a different angle. You may have to hang out with something for a while because it's not time to move on it or there's some sort of delay. That's okay. The hanged man, he sees something from a whole different angle. He, there's a sense of enlightenment here. You may end up, and, and this just happens by with no effort of your own, by the way. This is a good day for source, take care of this or show me the way. And then you just go on about your day. You, you ask with belief that with faith that it'll happen and you go out on about your day. I don't know if any of you have had that experience where you do that and then you just really do release it. You just keep your mind off of it. You keep your hands off of it. And then it's, it's solved by the end of the day or some new, new insight, new awareness comes from, and you don't know from where, well, it comes from your higher self. It comes from divine. It comes from whatever that is that you believe in. That's, that's a power greater than this self that we create here on this earth. So this is a good day to ask for that, to ask for, just make it clear, just make it clear because you're likely to get a, a new perspective on things and you don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle to fix it up by yourself. If there's something you feel like is taking a while, what do I do? Sometimes, um, the proper thing is to really give it, really surrender it to source. And then it will just, and I don't, and that's not a passive thing, by the way, that's more of a meditative thing. It's not a passive thing. It's sort of like I purposely put it in your hands and then you get your mind off, go do something else. And watching it unfold is the other part of that, I think. And then, and then you just watch it unfold, watch it happen. So that's a good, a good thing today. And the King of Swords. So you have a good, you're a good planner and you have a good intellect. You have, you're great in, at analysis. There may be a situation in your life that really, in spite of all that, it can't be you can't plan it. Um, you can't, 
no analysis will will give you the clarity because there's things you're waiting on with a hanged man it, some of these things um you're not sure exactly how they're going to be resolved or how how um maybe your prayers will be answered or how it will come about that's okay that's okay again with the surrendering of it and your good planning and your good um brain your good mind that is helpful to you with a, a whole bunch of things but it can't do everything, right? It's helpful with a lot of things, can't do everything. However, here, if you get some sort of new perspective on something, spirit will engage your brain and help with your quick, you have quick understanding. So that will be helpful. The two of wands is, well, it's weighing your options. It's sort of a sense of what will be my main priority. Maybe that's today. Maybe that's just in general right now. This is the world explorer. He's got the, the world in his hands. So it's sort of like exciting possibilities. And I think you're encouraged to view them as such. And maybe you'll favor one over the other and that's okay for now. Maybe you go back and forth between them. This can be two priorities, two goals. But I like the, the energy in this card. It's sort of like poised, poised. But then there may be for some reason why you want, you need a new perspective before you go, before you, before you really decide what to pursue. So there's a lot going on here, but you certainly can trust your mind to figure out the details. And you certainly can trust the divine to give you the perspective and the timing that is right. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, for those of you who would like a little further clarification with the Golden Nugget card, we have the Eight of Wands. Well, you are having a lot of things moving forward and they're moving forward nicely as if in concert, as if they're organized to do that. And you may be actively organizing them to do that, you know, but this is a reassurance. Hey, it's, it's working. It's working. You've got a lot going on. There are a lot of concerns. You have a lot of priorities you have. They are moving forward in a, a way that makes sense in a, in a powerful way. And there is a little bit of a, a hint of the divine organizing this too, making sure it all goes forward. You know, our intuition can be used for so many things. And many times we don't even know we're using it. Like um, if you're going about your day and the little thought comes in, oh yeah, I've got to remember to do. Well, that might be your intuition reminding you to do that, you know, or a little thought, ah, I think I should. That may be your intuition pay attention. I think you have been paying attention. That's why we get this eight of wands. So, so our intuition can also help us to keep everything moving forward in a terrific way. So we're not um, having wands dropping to the ground. So it's, it's really kind of interesting. A lot of times, like I said, we use our intuition, we don't even know it. It's like there may be even a guide whispering in our ear, remember this, or what about that? Did you ever think about this, this possibility? So yeah, <laughs> you may be using all that and not even always knowing it, but it's working, it's working. <laughs> so I hope you have a marvelous, marvelous day and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.